Parker. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. So let's go 141. Let's put all eyes on Cleveland Belton. Yeah, the flying snake, he kept it tight. Really did a textbook, perfect. It was really exciting. And it was a close match, too. I mean, it wasn't like it was a blowout or something. It, was, it could have gone either way at that point. Had Arizona State finished, he would have won. So that was just a huge swing right there. And you talk about the team score right there. That's a six-point swing. Had Arizona taken him down as opposed to getting pinned. Belton, Olguin came up later, big at 165 almost as well. But let's take a peek at 157. Daniel Cardenas, the Stanford freshman. Yeah, he had a lot of great moves. He was really chain wrestling well. He's clearly going to be a force to be reckoned with in the coming years in the Pac-12. He already is, but that was an impressive performance. Here you see one of the only sets of back points in the tournament, the cross wrist roll. I love that technique. That's very effective, and he did a textbook, and here he does the throw by. Very, very diverse skill set. 21 and 1. Then Oregon State just went on a run. Old Gein went to 165. 174 is almost in. And 184 it was an opportunity again to put up another flex. Yeah, sweet peek out by Munoz there to get the takedown. Almost got the pin off the cradle here. He put him to his back, but time on the clock wasn't all there for him when he got him over. Jay Munoz, 23 and 2 on the year. At number six ranking, Montalvo pushed back. But again, the number 28 wrestler just didn't have enough. Only one allocation, it went to that man. Not a big surprise. And then we got to watch, as you called him, the face of this conference. Colton Schultz do what he does best. Yeah, one of the big faces, and it's definitely the biggest face of it, right? As a heavyweight, <laughs> and as, as a NCAA Finals last year, here, here's the throwdown. He's gonna go to that half transition, chain wrestle, break him down. Great demonstration of dominance right there. And uh, he'll be challenged in the NCAA tournament for sure, but he's one of our Pac-12 favorites to get in there and win a championship. Yeah, U-17 world champion, U-20 and 18 and 19 bronze and silver. Been an All-American a couple of times already. Pound for pound, the best recruit in the nation when Zeke Jones brought him to ASU. And these are the individual results we were talking about. Hey, 125 seems like a while ago, but that was a fun one with Kaler over Courtney. That that snapped a string. And by the way, the uh, Olguin win over Shane Griffith is important to, to point out at 165. That's the defending national champ. Yeah, that, that's a big win. Right up and down the line, there were some great matches, exciting night of wrestling, a lot of closely contested matches, both in the semis and the finals. And I uh, look for the Pac-12 to make some big noise at the NCAA Championships in Tulsa, Oklahoma in two weeks. And that Bernie Truax win helped to put them in that three spot. Truax doesn't win. They're not in that spot, so Bernie, not a big surprise, certainly. Yeah, big deal for Cal Poly to overtake Arizona State. There's the champs. Their head coach, Chris Pendleton. When things really started back in the day, they won in 65 all the way through 70. They won it 12 through 16, but now they're back again. Their best finishes in the NCAA second. They've done it twice, but nine times, and they'd love to get to this year. Nine times they finished in the top five. Yep, different eras of success there. This is a, a new era there at Oregon State, and they're working to climb into that top echelon of national programs. Pendleton was an assistant at Wyoming six years, an assistant for Zeke Jones. National champ in 174 at Oklahoma State. Four times he won a national champion at Oklahoma State. What a cool moment. This conference has so much to be proud of in this sport. Even, even a brand new program, courage enough to start and jump in and scrapple and mix it up like Little Rock. Yeah, very exciting. And this is a big moment for Oregon State. And there's Brandon Kaler with his big victory at 125. He's taking it over to the head coach. Exciting moment for Oregon State Wrestling. It'll give them a lot of excitement and momentum heading into the NCAA Championships. And that's what's it all about, as you said, the momentum and taking it forward. Oregon State, Stanford, Cal Poly, then ASU, Little Rock, and Bakersfield. There's Melton, he, he hit the flying snake for the pin. He's pumped up, he's an energetic guy. He deserves to hold that baby. That's a lot of extra points. He's, he got up there. It's 24 Pac-12 titles all time for this historic program. Yeah, I mean, they have a rich history of success at Oregon State. And, and as, as we talked about during the course of the show, there's a lot of rich tradition in the state of Oregon in wrestling. And in, on the West Coast in general, there's a lot of tremendous wrestlers. So these, these guys are making noise.
I want to thank all of you for loving this sport because this sport dynamic in the Conference of Champions. Best of luck to all the athletes and the teams in the upcoming NCAA tournament.